Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chanel and today I will be showing you a few comparisons of the new Chanel lipstick in Boys De Rose Astro. This is part of the Le Comet collection, so it does have the star logo um, little thing on top and it is a velvet, a rouge allure velvet lipstick. It does click like this and comes out and then when you twist it up, it's just this beautiful rose tone color. So this is what the lipstick looks like. Super gorgeous. And it's like mauve but rosy at the same time. I do have it on my lips today, topped off with Buxom Dominique Lip Gloss. So this is the lip combo that I'm wearing today, right now. Let me know what you guys think of this combination. Uh, it looks a little coral because I had like a lip oil underneath it and it was like more of a corally tone. I try to blot my lips with a little foundation left over on my sponge to remove it, but here we are. <clears throat> so we're going to start off by swatching this lipstick to compare it to some other ones. And I will throw up the retail price of this if it's still available. So it's just this kind of mauve rosy tone color it looks like this and i will compare it to some other lipsticks i pulled in my collection that i thought might be similar i haven't actually swatched them yet so we're actually gonna learn together together okay so sorry if the lighting just changed i didn't notice that my ring light wasn't working properly but hopefully now it's working better and you guys can get a better view of all the colors so again here is the color boys de rose astro from the Le Comet collection by Chanel. Okay, the first lipstick that I thought it would be similar to is this Nars one, and this is what this one looks like. I believe this is limited edition packaging, but this lipstick is probably from the um, regular line. It's the VIP Audacious lipstick in Anita, so I believe that's, this is a permanent color, and this one is slightly more cool tone. I think Boys the Rose Astro has a lot more warmth to it. So here they are. So those aren't that similar like I thought, but this one is still very rosy. Next, I thought it would be similar to this Tom Ford lipstick. Um, and this lipstick is in the lip color 03 Casa Blanca. And this is what color this one is. And I'll give you a swatch to see if these are similar. No, this one's actually more of a purpley rose mauve. And then An Anita was more of a pink one. And the boys rose de astral. Boys rose de astral? Is that the boys de rose astral is actually very more. It's very warm. Very warmer. It's much warmer than the other two. So here are the comparisons. The last lipstick, which I might pull one more from my collection just because I'm kind of curious to see if this is similar to some other one. Um, this is Divine Rose by Pat McGrath. This is what this one looks like. And I will also give you a swatch of this one. And this one's lighter and tone a little bit more similar to Anita but just slightly more white base. I think Anita has a lot more mauve pink to it, but here we are here. I did pull out a Gucci lipstick. This is the um, Rouge Ale Matte and they met in Argentina. It is more of a corally shade. Um, I don't think it has enough rose to be that similar, but I'm going to swatch it to see. And I would say these are the most similar out of all the ones I've swatched so far. So here they are. It's the one right here that is most similar to the um, Boys the Rose Astro. This one is a lot more matte and the um, Boys the Astro has a little bit more uh, sheen to it. And the Chanel lipstick is this one right here. I think this one is a lot more coral. Um, it's missing the rose aspect and this one is a warm rose color. 
So I do think these are the most similar, but they're not exact. And it's funny because I like this Gucci lipstick the least out of all the Gucci lipsticks that I own in my collection. So I love the way the Chanel one looks on my lips. It's a little bit more my speed because it does have that rose in it. I do want to compare two Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. Um, and then I'll just show you guys a few liners that I think that will go good with this lipstick. So we do have a very Victoria by Charlotte Tilbury. It's very use and abuse because I love this one. It's like my favorite. This one does have a cool tone graziness to it. So I don't think it's going to have that coral aspect. Yeah, like I suspected, it's a little too cool tone. But I thought it would be worth a shot to show you like a popular nude lipstick. Um, and then the next one is in the shade Pillow Talk. And this is what Pillow Talk looks like. And I think this one's going to be a little bit more pinkier and not enough like warmth in it. Yeah, um, this one's lighter in tone compared to Very Victoria. A lot more lighter of a pink, less grayish, but there's no warmth in it. Enough warmth in it, should I say, to compare it to the Chanel one. So I don't have an exact dupe in my collection, which is great. I don't want to have repeats of my collection. Um, so yeah, if you own any of in the, if you own any of these, don't worry, you're not gonna have a dupe. The closest will be the Gucci uh, Rouge à Matte, and they met in Argentina, but again. It's not shiny enough and it doesn't have the rose tone in it. So that was very interesting to try these out. I pulled out two lip liners that I thought would go good with it, but my educated guess might be wrong just because um, I thought all these lipsticks, not all of them, but I thought like two or three of them would match, but um, we were wrong on that. The Gucci lipstick was the closest. So we're going to pull out the Vive Rumor. I think this is a little too purpley for it oh no this is a lot more brown for it so um if you want to do an ombre lip maybe but I, I don't think i will pair those two the next one i pulled out is whirl i was thinking sore but that sore might be a little too pink so let's see how this one looks um yeah this has more of that dusty pink purplish purplish color to it it doesn't have enough rose in it. So I think I'm gonna pull out one more lip liner. It might be a little too pink for it, but I'll pull it out and see if that might be a good match. Okay, I pulled out two lip liners. One is by Pat McGrath and Divine Rose. This may be a little too pink for what we're looking for, but let's go ahead and try it on the back of my hand. This has uh, that rose mauve pink color in it. It just needs a slight more warmth to it to work. So um, I don't think this is gonna be a good one. You could probably blend it in with your fingers to get the look, the desired look. But I'm thinking this one is gonna be the closest match. This is a Kylie lip liner in the shade Sweater Weather, which was a limited edition color. But if you own it, uh, pull it out and let's check together. Let's see. It's similar to Pat McGrath, so I don't know. I don't think I have a perfect lip liner for this, but that's okay. I wore it today without a lip liner, and it looks great. I think I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Gucci lipstick on one side and the Chanel on the other and see what we think. I will say the Chanel formula is very thin, and um, I like the cut of it because it allows me to really get a precise line and I don't have to wear a lip liner with it lip liner with it um it does have like micro shimmer I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to pick up on the micro shimmer in it but I really like the thinness to it the way it glides it's not too buttery where it's gonna get melty and kind of like disturb the tube and then like you'll have a wiggly tube because that happens to a lot of my creamy lipsticks um, as you guys can see, they get really beat up, um, the ones I showed you and stuff. So this one I feel like is firm enough where it's not going to do that. But as you're gliding it on the lips, it is thin and I don't want to say buttery because it's not thick, but it glides on with a lot of ease. So, um, it does have that slip to it, but it's not going to be super melty, which is great. So I'm going to apply it to one side and then we'll apply the Gucci to the other side. So 
So this isn't the greatest application, but here is what one half looks like with the Boys De Rose Astral by Chanel on the side, one half of my lips. I do quickly want to mention that I am wearing the blush from this collection, which is called the, um, what is this blush called? The Coral Etoile or Etoile. I'm not really sure how you say it. And this is what the blush looks like. I am lightly wearing it on the tops of my cheeks. So I didn't want to go overboard because I thought this would be more of a mauve tone blush with this um, lip, but it is more has a bit more warmth to it i don't want to say coral because it's more of a rose tone don't get me wrong you're not going to get a straight up orange lipstick but has more warmth to it so um i would i just wanted to quickly mention the blush and i am wearing the number one additional foundation so i'll leave uh, my first impressions on that link down below for the foundation and yeah here is the blush i can demo it for you guys if you would like so just leave your suggestions listed down below in the comment section so I am going to quickly um, kind of pat this. I don't want to swipe too much because this one does pack more pigment than this side. And I kind of want to see if they match. So I think the Gucci side is slightly lighter and coral in tone. And then, of course, as the name suggests, the Chanel side has a lot more warmth and a rose in it. So you're not going to get a straight up orange look. So if you're scared of orange lipstick, don't be because this Chanel lipstick is not that. So this wasn't um, the closest match, but... It's the best thing that I have in my collection that mimics it, but not to its full, fullest extent. The Chanel has a lot more sheen, and then, of course, the Gucci side is super matte. So I'm going to quickly remove this, put back on only the Chanel lipstick so you can see what it looks like without the lip gloss. I'll show you a few lip gloss options that I think might go well with it, and then we will conclude this video. So here's a light layer of just the Chanel Boys de Rose Astral lipstick on my lips. So here are some lip glosses that I thought would go nice with it. Um, I have been loving Bourjois. It was in my January favorites video. And I also have a review reviewing three Chanel lip glosses. I do own one other. So I will swatch this near the lipstick um i think bourgeois has a lot more mauve purple to it but i think it will still look nice this lip gloss makes anything look nice it's the best lip gloss out of the three chanel lip glosses that i've tried so far and then we have um 722 i don't know how to say the name so you guys can tell me and this one is more of a light dusty more of a baby pink which i mean you can never go wrong with that type of color it's this one right here but i don't know i would prefer bourgeois and then i have this a buxom claire lip gloss which is more on the mauve side because i was thinking this pink will be more this pink um this rose will be more on the mauve side but it's obviously more of a warm rose and um this one's less mauve so i think this one might go the best with this lip gloss so i guess we'll do like half the side with this and maybe half with bourgeois let's see what that looks like of course i do own a whole bunch of other lip glosses i could have picked out um pillow talk by charlotte tilbury um that lip gloss i think has a lot more warmth in it and will look better but i'm not gonna go ahead and pull it out um i am just gonna add this to half of my lips to see what it looks like
Okay, so this lip gloss really elevated the look without really killing the coralness. You can, not coralness. Why do I just keep wanting to say this is coral? Um, the warmth in it. Um, so here is half the side with this Buxom Clear Lip Gloss and then this side has nothing. <clears throat> and you know I heard you talking. I was like, there's someone talking. Who's talking? Okay, I'm actually going to um, put a little bit of the 722 just because it's pretty. So here it is here, like in the third part of my lip, Cent more center part of my lip. It's super pretty. I just think the Buxom one looks a little bit better. So if you're going for more of a light tone, if you want to tone this down to a lighter nude, you can add this 722 or any gloss similar. And I think that will look beautiful. But I think we are going to try Bourjois 119, the Coco Rouge Lip Gloss by Chanel on the outer. And this is definitely going to bring out more of the mauve it's going to make it more mauve. So I definitely will go with Buxom. I'm going to remove all this, just put the lip, uh, stick on, and we'll conclude this video. Okay, so I'm back and I do have the lipstick on by itself again. Um, I am happy that we did all these different comparisons. And I found that we didn't have an exact dupe, but something mm, slightly similar, but still different. And I was happy to see the different lip liners. Didn't really find a perfect match, but that's okay because this lipstick looks gorgeous on its own, if I do say so myself. I really like the formula and everything like that, so I'm glad I was able to test that out here in this video with you guys and show you how beautiful this lipstick is on its own. I'm curious to try out some Chanel lip liners. Maybe I'll find a great one that matches well with this. I'm curious to try out more Chanel lipsticks, so let me know what your favorite lipstick from Chanel is down below, what different formula you like from Chanel, because I do have quite a bit of different lip products. And um, just let me know what lip gloss, what lip liner, what lipstick you all liked from everything that I compared it to. I definitely love the Buxom on top. I just want to slather my lips in it. That's why I had the clear Buxom on in the beginning in the shade um, Dominique because I didn't really want to alter the color but just wanted a lot of shine to my lips. But this lipstick is very versatile. You guys seen the different ways that I was able to transform it with the light pink in the center to cool it down, make it like more um, nude and then if you want to like not deepen the nude but maybe you're of deeper complexion and like super light ones um can wash you out kind of um i think a like more rich color like bourgeois is perfect especially for me i just love bourgeois so much out of the three um lip glosses that i own from chanel and then buxom which uh is more of a mauvey um shimmery color and uh it has more of like those rose tones in it but just not quite so warm i thought that one was beautiful that one was beautiful on the lips as well so i'm just very happy to own this lipstick and play around with it get different color combinations and i just wanted to share all this knowledge with you guys so if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not yet subscribed because i Look forward to doing more of these videos and um, get ready with me, try on hauls. And uh, I do Project Pan a lot here on my channel. So if that's something that interests you, then I can't wait for you to join my little family that I have going on here. So I will see you all in the next video. Hope you guys take care and have a beautiful, fabulous day. Mwah.